Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving peak and RMS values of voltage and current. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. So we'll start by doing two worked examples for peak and RMS values of voltage and then we'll do two worked examples for peak and RMS values of current. So for voltage first of all, question 1 says to calculate the peak voltage of the main supply. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find V peak. We know that VRMS is 230 volts for the main supply and that's something you need to remember. So writing down our equation, we have V peak equals root 2 VRMS. Substituting in the numbers gives us root 2 times 230 and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 325 volts. Question 2 says that a resistor connected in series with an AC supply has a peak voltage of 3 root 2 volts across it. Determine the RMS voltage of the AC supply. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find VRMS. We know that V peak is 3 root 2 volts. So writing down our equation, we have V peak equals root 2 VRMS. Rearranging for VRMS, we can divide both sides by root 2. So we get VRMS equals V peak over root 2. And substituting in the numbers gives 3 root 2 over root 2. So the root 2s will cancel out from the top and bottom. And we're left with 3 volts for the RMS voltage. Now on to the two examples for current. Question 1 says that a 6 ohm resistor is connected in series with an AC supply of output voltage 9 volts. Part A says to calculate the RMS current in the circuit. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find IRMS. We know that VRMS is 9 volts and the resistance R of the resistor is 6 ohms. So we can use the equation for Ohm's law which is V equals IR but we can use the RMS values of voltage and current in order to find the RMS current. So rearranging for IRMS we divide both sides by R and we get IRMS equals VRMS over R. Substituting in the numbers gives us 9 divided by 6 and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 1.5 amps. Part B says to calculate the peak current in the circuit. Well now that we know the RMS current, we can use that in order to calculate the peak current. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find I peak. We know that IRMS is 1.5 amps. And writing down our equation, we have I peak equals root 2 IRMS. Substituting in the numbers gives us root 2 times 1.5. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 2.1 amps. Lastly, question 2 says that the peak current in a resistor is 12.5 amps. What is the RMS current? So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find IRMS. We know that I peak is 12.5 amps. So writing down our equation, we have I peak equals root 2 IRMS. Rearranging for IRMS gives IRMS equals I peak over root 2. Substituting in the numbers gives us 12.5 over root 2. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 8.8 .8 amps. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.